Have you ever wondered if viruses, those tiny infectious agents, have predators? Do they, like other forms of life, engage in a survival of the fittest battle? Today, we delve into the intriguing world of vampire viruses, a term that might sound like it's pulled straight from a science fiction novel, but is very much a part of our reality. Just as vampires in folklore feed on the life force of their victims, a vampire virus is a satellite virus that relies on a helper virus for its survival. This fascinating interaction was first observed by researchers from the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, and Washington University in St. Louis. They discovered a satellite virus named Miniflayer, which lacks an integration gene, attaching itself to its helper, Mindflayer. This attachment is not a random occurrence, but a symbiotic relationship that has evolved over time. Using electron microscopy, the researchers captured images of Miniflayer latching onto the neck of Mindflayer, a site that had never been documented before. It's an act of survival, a clever adaptation in a world too small for the naked eye to see. The significance of the vampire virus lies in its potential to change our understanding of viral ecology and evolution. It's a powerful reminder that even in the microscopic world, intricate relationships and dependencies exist. It also opens up new avenues for research into viral behavior and may even have implications for how we approach viral diseases. To summarize, the vampire virus is a satellite virus that survives by attaching itself to a helper virus. This discovery, made by researchers from UMBC and Washington University in St. Louis, is the first documented instance of such an interaction. The long-term co-evolution of the two viruses, Mindflayer and Miniflayer, not only expands our understanding of viral behavior, but also hints at the existence of more such associations in the viral world. So, the next time you think about viruses, remember that they too have their own battles to fight. They too, in their tiny, unseen world, have their own version of vampires. And just like in our world, survival is the name of the game.